So it's just like a very brief uh, personal question. Huh? You can hear the pigeons. <laughs> we're, we're close to the sea. <laughs> guys, welcome back to Ian Aroma. My name again is Erwin and today's episode we have another special guest. Her name is... Maria Antonieta. <laughs> uh, she's also one of my classmates in the Master in Tourism and Management here in Rome. And uh, how are you, Lo? I'm fine. I'm so happy to be here with you with this amazing light. Oh yes, guys. We are filming here in the terrace of my work. And we will put the link below if you want to reserve Little Queen in the future once Rome is open. And uh, for our viewers, uh, who is Maria Marini? Well, Maria is a young woman from Margarita Island, a small place at the Caribbean that belongs to Venezuela. I'm a graduated lawyer in my country. Uh, as I mentioned, I, due to the crisis, I have to push myself to go for new opportunities, for searching for new opportunities. So I study abroad uh, English, and then I study. I got my first master degree in uh, general management at Malta Island. Yes. And afterwards, I decided to come here to Italy, and I learned also the Italian. And I finished my master in tourist management with you. Yes. It was a great <laughs> master. We built great friendship there, and now we, have, we are all colleagues. It's very interesting how we create that network as friends, that and is now true. we are part of the network of the tourist industry so it's, it's an amazing thing to say you know because it's not just the experience about the studies it's also what comes afterward that's true uh, was it difficult when you move outside Venezuela before when you try to look for other opportunities abroad well let's say I was just in the limit the because not by the fact of being Venezuela was but the fact of uh, coming from a country covered in crisis yes. uh, and also in, in economical crisis. Um, so at the beginning, it was difficult to choose what path exactly. to take. Yeah. Because that the, when you are so young, no one is going to tell you what to do. Yeah. You know? So when you are under those circumstances, you understand you need to figure it out what could be best for your future. So I think that was the most difficult part to decide where to go, yes. why, because it's not just random that you decide exactly. this. So bureaucratically <laughs> speaking, it wasn't so hard, but uh, the difficult part was to choose wisely, you know, yes. because no one will tell you what to do. Oh, very good. Very well said, Gad, because it's kind of difficult for like a young age and then being a woman from a small island like to move abroad and it's very nice to know somebody that can do those kind of things yeah. and just explore everything, every opportunity that she can grab wherever she goes. And for you, like as an individual, like a person who migrated to Europe, do you think like is it very important for you to have a master when looking for a job here? Well, this is a tricky question because there are two realities when having a master, being a foreigner. Yes. Uh, the first one is that for sure it opened many uh, steps when we talk about further step for bureaucratic stuff like uh, visas, permesso di soggiorno in Italian uh, case, or for legal issues, let's say in that yes. way. The reality of the working environment is kind of different because, um, at least in Italy, I, I cannot tell about other countries in Europe, uh, the salary system is kind of complex, <laughs> that's used to work. So, even though maybe you are the perfect, you are the right person for the position, yes. you speak three languages, you have uh, your skills, your communication skills are awesome, you have a good attitude, attitude you are a solar, you know? Um, you have the ed the proper education, they will believe that you are overqualified for the job. <laughs> no, it's true. So they rather prefer to reject this person, these people, you know, instead of maybe in a, investing a little bit in order to get fresh people with fresh ideas, you know, with a better attitude. So yes. 
that's something that you will find very often. I'm pretty yes. sure it happens to yes. you. Yes, a lot of times. Happened to me as well. Uh, even though if you want to do like a small project work, uh, they they take into account this. Like uh, you are overqualified, so they prefer not to go in those uh, waters, <laughs> which is wrong because uh, it doesn't mean uh, you have always the higher expectation about salary, which is right because we all deserve, which is right. Yes. But sometimes we just need uh, an opportunity to to express ourselves in the best way. Very good. Okay. There you go. So, is it like an advantage or no? I would say 50-50. Oh, it depends on the circumstances yeah. because it depends with the company that you are going to work with. It depends on the mentality of the employer that will hire you. If they have very good background hiring international people and the things that they, they think that these people will contribute to the company, yeah. then you are in a good position. But if not, uh, maybe... Yeah. Exactly, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. It, well, as my colleague just says, I think it all depends on the person who will hire you or what doors are you knocking. Yes, exactly. So just like a, a, a bit of personal question for you. Why did you move to Italy? Why Rome, Italy? Well, um, the truth is I traveled a bit before yes. deciding of staying here. Uh, I think uh, coming from a South American country, maybe also in your case it's kind of the same being uh, coming from a warm family a warm culture yes for me that was something very important to take into account before choosing where to stay okay so from all the countries i have visited until now so far let's say i can say that i feel at home here oh very so good. that's that's i think the most important thing in my case because uh, apart from job opportunities yes. and uh, personal life, yeah. feeling comfortable is the most important thing. Very, very. It's almost like a special season, it's almost Christmas. So how do you cope with this pandemic? Plus, it's almost Christmas season and, and it's like the Latin culture that ver they're very close to their family, especially on Christmas holidays. Mm -hmm. So how do you cope with this? Uh, it's tough. I must admit it, that the, the fact of having a lot of time because the truth is now with this pandemic situation we yes. have a lot of time and having a lot of time means also that you are thinking a lot and you're, you become nostalgic, you become sad and you start missing and uh, you know it's, it's tough for yes. sure. Then the plus of Christmas season, the fact of not being able of traveling, you know it's like you feel your freedom is kind of limited. That's true. Uh, it's, n it's not easy, it hasn't been easy, but uh, the fact of, as I mentioned before, I feel comfortable in this country because I feel at home. Uh, the fact of, by any means, finding a way to have close reunions with even though two, three people, uh, finding that warm, that family warm, yes. uh, give you like hope. That's a word. <laughs> so you know like at the moment it's kind of difficult like to find a job or like mm -hmm. to have a job and what are the preparations that you are doing you know like next year that the tourism will be open? Do you, mm -hmm. Can you advise us like what are the things that we should be prepared so that we can have a nice job in the future? Yeah, uh, well as I mentioned we, we are having a lot of time, free time yes. now. So. Even those free online courses could be exactly. very useful. Practice your languages, you know, like English, Italian, a lot. Ah, that's another thing, it's important, guys. If you're coming to Italy, be open mind to learn Italian yes. and to respect their culture. This is clue, this is important. So, going back to the question for the future free courses, yes. reading, practicing languages. And um, I'm, I'm still sending a lot of CV. Someone will call me for interview for sure. Uh, meanwhile, I do a small project also with translation. So languages is also a plus for yes, this. No? That's true. Maybe at this moment we're blocking that way, but we can do some other things with our skill. Yeah. Uh, I I always tell my guests and my my family or my friends who wants to move here 
that languages is your a bullet going to a war. If you want to move to other country, outside your country, you should always learn another language. Remove the English, at least you can learn Spanish, Mandarin, Arabic, French. If you really want to move outside your country, because this can also like a, a, a big plus yeah, yeah. for your curriculum that you, you can speak multiple languages. Can you like give us some important things that you have learned when you move here in Italy? <laughs> well, the first one is to be tolerant in the Google, right? Okay. Because uh, when I say tolerant, is that you need to understand that you will face many challenges. Yes. Many of them. And sometimes you just need to breathe and be tough. But that doesn't mean that you will ac that you will have to accept people to uh, underestimate you yes. or um, treat you bad. No, not in that way. I, I'm meaning in the in a way that we know that we are foreigners. No. Yes. Uh, we know that we are living in a different reality. Yes. And we know that we have to work harder in order to shine. Yeah. Even though we are already shining, you know? <laughs> so it's important to be tolerant, it's important to be patient, and um, that's something that I have learned here. Apart from those character skills, yes. uh, I would say culture fascinates me. Uh, history of this country is not only the country, just Rome, even a small square is full of history, details, art, and you can never get bored here. There's oh. no way, no way. There's something new always to learn. And the fact of being an international city is also really nice because it's the never end city, yes, no endless. Exactly. So you, in, you are in a constant, uh, con con constant, constant. Uh, yes. contact with new people so exchanging cultures and experiences with, with people is the richest thing you can have yeah and one of the important fact that she said as well like this is an international city and this is uh, talking about tourism wise Italy or Rome is one of the top destinations here in Europe mm -hmm. so there's like another one opportunity for you if you move here if you study here or if you work here that these are the things that Rome or Italy can offer because Rome is different from like Milan or to Florence or to Naples however they're all connected and basically you can just go there in a day and go back to Rome and you can explore everything here so we're in the capital of the it's civilization Caput Mundi, so, <laughs> yeah. the last question is you feel comfortable here you you felt that you have a family here with your loved ones with your friends mm -hmm. and everything and you're comfortable do you see yourself in the future staying in this country? Yeah, definitely, yes. In fact, I, I talking these day, dates with friends, I mentioned that once I had a issue in another country, uh, and as soon as I managed to come back here, yes, I felt like Oof, <laughs> I'm at home, you know. And, and this is, I in that moment I understood that I feel comfortable here, that I can. I can call this place my second home for yeah. sure and that I have a good friend network which is something important uh, I like it so yes this is a definitely good. a city that can kill you or <laughs> can love you you know it's, it's up to you yes it's a hate or love situation okay. but I think like Rome is very comfortable nonetheless and you won't feel that you are excluded in exactly. this country or in this city and everything is very welcoming it's very diverse and everything there's like a new thing happening as I mentioned earlier regarding this kind of topic I really want to introduce you to this kind of people with Javad with Maria with me and with the future people that I will invite in this channel because I want to show you that even we are foreigners in this country we are immigrants we are working hard here we studied here we pay tax we live this kind of life and it's it's not like difficult to pick whatever you want as long as you have the courage you have the passion you have the hardship you, you work hard to be in this position and it's not like we move here and we have a nice life no we work hard and again like you can see us in front of this camera and you can see that we are living the life at the moment but because we personally we work hard in this and I believe that if you do good on the things that you are doing, you will receive the gift in the future. Yeah, yeah. In fact, um, in order to add something to 
what Erwin's saying is um, even though you are going to face good and bad experience at the end, it's always enriching your life. So um, don't be afraid about the new things, about the new world. Be open-minded, um, do your research. And, and take the it. risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Take Once again, risk. thank you very much, thank Maria, you too, for, for having this time. Me. I'm so happy. I like this. I like sharing experience. <laughs> uh, if you have other comments, you can put it down below. And if you want future videos regarding this kind of topic, you can email me, you can message me on Instagram, you can comment down below, and please click subscribe if you want more uh, content <laughs> like this. Once again, this is Ian Aroma Channel, and thank you very much. Grazie, ciao. Goodbye. Adios. <laughs>